Tobacco shop employees searching for answers tonight after their Grand Ledge store was broken into and robbed over the weekend. It was all caught on video. Fox 47's Kellen Buddy talked with a worker at the shop. Every time I come in, I have to look at those boards. You know, a lot of us, we, we work hard for a living, um, and it's kind of sad to see people do this kind of thing. Two of the store's security cameras capturing the thieves in action early Saturday morning. The window was shattered in. They had thrown a big rock right through this thing over here. They took vapes, e-liquids, a carton of cigarettes, and more. Those at the store say the robbers were quick about their work. In and out in about 60 seconds, they say to them, it doesn't look like it was their first robbery. They look like they took a lot of time in preparing themselves um, as far as what they were wearing. Um, and what they did. It looked as if they knew they what exactly what they were wanting and taking and they grabbed it and got out of here pretty quickly. And even though they knew what they were doing, workers think the robbers might have been underaged. The supervisor says the break in doesn't help the industry's reputation already tarnished by teen vaping. A lot of the product that they took is uh, stuff that the younger crowd seems to be going for. Having to see that kind of thing get into the hands of children um, and, and stuff like that and people doing that kind of thing is it's not okay. Um, and that's the one thing we are trying to stop right now. And that's not what it's here for. Um, a lot of the stuff that was taken is to help people quit. Under 18 or not, the shop's workers disappointed in the culprits. It's not okay to break into anybody's place, you know, whether or not it's a business or a home or a car or anything along those lines. So shouldn't be done. Kellen Buddy, Fox 47 News. The Grand Ledge Police Department is currently investigating the break-in. The shop workers are confident the suspects will be caught. They also told us they'll be installing a security system as a result of the break-in.